The municipal green bond market is coming off a record year in 2020 and the pipeline is already building for 2021. I'm Mike Stanton here with Mark Capel from BAM's San Francisco office and this is a BAM Credit Insights video on three upcoming BAM Green Star green bond transactions that will be selling in the next couple of weeks. The city of Vallejo, California is selling approximately $41 million of water revenue bonds. The city of North Glen, Colorado is selling approximately $23 million of sewer revenue bonds. And the Westminster School District in Orange County, California, is selling approximately $18 million of certificates of participation that will refinance energy efficiency upgrade projects to the district's buildings. Uh, Mark, thank you for, for being here with us today. It's been a few months since we uh, did an overview of the green bond market in our BAM Credit Insights video. So let's take a step back to the 10,000 foot level and uh, ask the question, what is a green bond? Why are these bonds uh, carrying that label? Thanks, Mike. Uh, so a green bond is simply a bond transaction structured to align with the International Capital Market Association's green bond principles. The bond proceeds must finance a project that falls into one of 10 approved environmentally positive categories, and the bond structure must incorporate controls to make sure that the money is spent as intended. And so we, we mentioned the, the projects a little bit were hinted at by the use of the proceeds and the revenues to repay them. But uh, in terms of how do they fit into the green bond principles, which categories do they qualify under? Yeah, so both the Vallejo, California and the North Glen, Colorado transactions are financing projects that meet the sustainable water and wastewater management green bond guidelines. So, for example, the proceeds from the Vallejo bonds will finance water system upgrades while North Glen bond proceeds will be used to replace deteriorating sewer facilities that have reached the end of their useful life. Uh, meanwhile, the Westminster transaction is a refinancing of a lease it entered back into uh, in 2015 as part of an effort to significantly upgrade the energy, heat, and water efficiency of district buildings. And it's worth noting that both uh, Vallejo and North Glen are new money transactions. Uh, sometimes investors prioritize new projects over refinancing existing projects. So that's something to, to be aware of as these uh, deals come to market. Um, so as we mentioned, you know, the uh, BAM Green Star is now up to $2.3 billion of uh, green bonds verified since the program launched in, in 2018. Last year, more than a billion dollars came to market. Why do you think uh, the market is growing? What, uh, what's driving that? So there's three major reasons why uh, BAM's Green Star uh, uh, demand is increasing. And first is simply greater awareness of the uh, issuer level of the opportunity to achieve a green bond designation. Um, second, as Mike alluded to earlier, there's simply more interest in the market for utilization on new money transactions. Uh, and third, there's no fee for BAM's Green Star uh, program. Free is always a good price point. So um, BAM's credit analysis of these transactions is completely independent of the Green Star verification process. So why don't we take a step back and, and uh, briefly take a look uh, at what is securing each of these credits? How did BAM get comfortable with them from a credit perspective? Sure. So uh, beginning with Vallejo, Vallejo's water revenue bonds will be repaid with a senior lien on net operating revenues from the water utility, uh, which serves a stable, primarily residential customer base of around 38,000 customers. Uh, total revenues for the system have increased steadily, and the city has already adopted a five-year water rate plan that includes schedule uh, water rate increases through 2024. Uh, Jordan Stern analyzed the North Glen issue for BAM, and those bonds are secured by a senior pledge of the wastewater system revenues. North Glen is a Denver area suburb, and the system serves approximately 10,000 customers. Uh, the city's underlying economy is solid with stable population and low unemployment. And like Vallejo, the city has independent authority to set its service rates and revenues have grown in recent years. Uh, meanwhile, the Westminster issue, which was analyzed by BAM's Todd Tomich, is a standard California school district abatement lease structure where the certificates are payable from lease payments made by the district, with the Helen Stacy Middle School serving as the leased asset. Like the water and sewer revenue bonds, BAM's analysis looked at the district's financial condition and the strength of the underlying economy. Uh, both also assessed the essentiality of the leased assets and the potential exposure to risks for uh, unnatural disasters, including earthquake. Uh, Westminster serves just around 9,000 students in northern Orange County. Population is stable and the assessed value of the property within the district uh, has grown steadily. Uh, the district's financial operations are strong with a record of net operating surpluses and steadily growing general fund balance. All of these issues will be rated AA with a stable outlook by S&P Global Ratings due to Build America Mutual's guarantee. 
Vallejo bonds have an underlying rating of A+. Plus. North Glens bonds have an underlying rating of double A-. Minus. And Westminster COPs have an underlying rating of A-1 from Moody's Investor Service. Thanks, Mark. That's really helpful information. If uh, anyone watching the video has additional questions, please feel free to email us at creditinsights at buildamerica.com. Have a great day. BAM is helping its members, cities, towns, and school districts build a sustainable future. BAM Green Star Bonds finance projects that protect and restore the environment. That means more renewable energy, efficient transportation in buildings, and clean water. Investors know BAM Green Star Bonds are financially secure and make critical infrastructure more affordable. We do this for the same reason you do, building America sustainably. BAM, the feeling is mutual.